Hello, my name is Simrat Olek. I'm a PharmD candidate in the class of 2022, and today I will be going over the medication Vasipa, also known as Icosapent Ethyl. I will give a basic overview of the medication. It is used to help reduce the risk of heart attack, stroke, and certain types of heart issues. The directions include take two capsules by mouth twice a day. Common side effects associated with Vesepa include constipation, edema, dental pain, pain in the throat, and musculoskeletal pain. Serious side effects include atrial fibrillation and atrial flutter and hemorrhage. Vasipa falls in the drug class of antihyperlipidemic and omega-3 fatty acid. It is indicated for prophylaxis of hypertriglyceridemia and severe hypertriglyceridemia with adjunct to diet. The pros associated with Vasipa include the fact that it is protective from life-threatening events such as heart attack and stroke. It may be used concurrently with statins to reduce risk of heart attack, stroke, coronary revascularization, and unstable angina. Cons include the adverse effects associated such as AFib and A flutter, and it is also an expensive medication only available with prescription. Studies suggest that eicosapentonic acid EPA, the active metabolite of eicosapent ethyl, reduces hepatic VLDL triglyceride synthesis and or secretion and increases triglyceride clearance from circulating VLDL particles. Dosage and formulation. Dosage forms come in generic and brand. Generic is a one gram oral capsule, and the brand Vasipa comes in the 0.5 and one gram oral capsule. Dose recommendations. For hypertriglyceridemia, take two grams by mouth, which is 4.5 grams or two one gram capsules, twice daily with food. Make sure to swallow capsules whole. For prophylaxis, take two grams by mouth, which is 4.5 grams, or two of the one gram capsules, twice daily with food. Make sure to swallow capsule whole. Dose adjustment. Vasipa has not been studied in patients with renal dysfunction and has not been studied in patients with hepatic impairment. However, Vasipa does not undergo renal excretion. Warnings and precautions. It is contraindicated in patients of a hypersensitivity to cosepent or any component of the medication. Patients with cardiovascular issues, including AFib, A flutter, patients with allergies to fish or shellfish, and patients who are at increased risk of bleeding 
should take this medication with precaution. Monitoring parameters. Lipid levels should be monitored prior to initiation of therapy. AST and ALT levels should be checked periodically in patients with liver impairment. Here are the references used in this presentation. Thank you for watching and have a great day.